Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech, and today I'm bringing you guys a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be pairing the Apple wireless keyboard with the Nexus 7. And yes, an Apple product will work fine with a Google product, and it actually works a little bit better with the Nexus 7 than it does with the iPad. And I'll show you that here eventually, but first I'm just going to show you how it actually connects. And so the first thing we just need to do is turn on our Bluetooth, and then if we actually click on Bluetooth, we can go into our Bluetooth settings. And we can see that the Apple wireless device is actually uh, an available device, but it's not actually paired yet. And if that's not there, um, you just make sure your Apple keyboard's on, and then you need to make sure you click Nexus 7, and it'll say your device is discoverable. And then if you actually turn it on or press the power button, it should kind of refresh it, put it into discover mode, and it'll say it's an available device. So if you just click on the Apple wireless keyboard, it'll ask you to type in a pairing number. And this number is 7741. So if we just type that in, 7741, and then press return, now it says that it is a paired device. And so now I'm just going to show you guys some of the features and some of the keys and how they actually work with the Nexus 7. So it might look a little bit weird because our keyboard's actually bigger than the Nexus 7, uh, but this is going to show you guys what the keys actually do and what keys actually function with the Nexus 7. So if we just start at the top left and hit the escape key, um, that just goes back a page. So if we would hit Bluetooth again, escape it goes back our brightness keys they do not work those are two keys that do not work our f3 button brings up our recent apps now i can't really access this anywhere else in android and jelly bean i really don't know how to get to this um i have just no clue and so if i just tap it i get the recent apps and i can pick from them it's kind of like multitasking but it's a little bit different because multitasking on jelly bean is different it looks like this and so I'm really not sure where this came from. I'm not sure how else you can access it, but that's what that button does. So if we go back and we hit this button, doesn't do anything. This one doesn't do anything. Neither does that. And now these are our media keys and they actually do work. It brings up Google Play. This little notification just showed up and it will start playing a song, but I don't have any songs on my Nexus 7 right now. And they're just some couple preloaded songs and they're not going to play because I have this turned down. So if I just turn it up, if I can find the right button. I don't know how well you can hear that, but pause works, play, forward, backward works. Press different songs, go to different songs. And so the media keys work just fine. Then we go to our volume keys. The mute button does not work, but the volume up and down do work. And then our last button, the eject button doesn't do anything. And so just to get back to our home screen, all we gotta do is press the escape button. And unfortunately this doesn't go, the home screen doesn't go in landscape. So you just have to bear with me for this part so you can actually see the keyboard. And so if you actually type on the number or on the pad down here, you can actually um, go between your different pages, which is really nice. And if you actually wanna scroll between your icons, all you gotta do is press the up or down and you can actually thumb through your icons and then you can select them as so. And we're just gonna, we'll just go over and we'll select, we'll go and we'll get Twitter, press enter, and it opens up Twitter. So that's really nice. That's not available on the iPad. You can't do that on the iPad. These buttons do absolutely nothing when you're on the home screen. And so these actually work inside of apps as well. If you can barely see it, each tweet gets highlighted. This tweet's highlighted right here. If I press up, the one above it gets highlighted. And so that's really nice. You can actually go through your apps with just your keys. So I'm just gonna open up another app. We're just going to open up Instagram and show you that that one works as well. Um, not all functionality can be done on the keyboard. You do need it to do, you do need the keyboard to do some other things. And of course, Instagram is going to be only in portrait, but you can scroll down through pictures. I know it's going sideways, but if you'd be holding the Nexus 7 um, in portrait, it would be going down and you can ac access some things, but you can't really go as far as commenting on pictures or liking pictures. I mean, you're, Mobility is limited, but you do get mobility. You get more than you do with the iPad with the actual keyboard. And now you can't really access Google Now through the keyboard. I tried a bunch of different combinations, a bunch of key combinations, but nothing really opens it up. So the only way to really access it is through the home button or through the button up here. Um, there is no keyboard shortcut, which is kind of disappointing, but I really don't expect one because this isn't a Google keyboard. And it wasn't even made for necessarily the iPad. It just works with the iPad. It's just for an Apple device. Um, it works with even PCs. And so... Not too big of a deal. You can't access Google now, but you also can't access the app drawer, which is a little bit annoying. Um, there's no shortcut for it, I should say. But if you do um, thumb down to it and press enter, you do get to the app drawer. 
And so a lot of functionality here, a lot more than with the iPad. You can scroll around with icons. You can actually navigate the device with the buttons. Can't do that with the iPad. So I find it kind of ironic that you can actually navigate the Nexus 7 better with the Apple wireless keyboard than you can with the iPad. So to show that it actually does work, like actually typing, I will open up Twitter and we'll just write a new tweet. If I can actually click on tweet and I'll just write test, test tweet. So I just want to show you guys how the Apple wireless keyboard works with the Nexus 7. And now I'm not going to be typing any documents or anything on the Nexus 7. If you watch my iPad and Nexus 7 comparison video, you'll see that I'd rather type on the iPad for more product activity kind of apps than I would on the Nexus 7 because the screen is rather small for typing up documents or doing presentations. But it's nice to know that it does work in case you do need to type something up in a certain scenario and you don't have a bigger screen. This is all you have. It's good to know that you can even open up Google Drive and open up one of your Google Docs and edit it on the fly. And so I think it's, like I said, kind of ironic that the Apple wireless keyboard works better with a Nexus 7 than it does the iPad. But I guess that's just the luck of the draw, I guess. And the next seven being more open to functionality on Bluetooth keyboards. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the top for more tech and game related videos and follow me on my social links below. That would be awesome. And also share this video out with anybody that you follow, any people that follow you on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, that would really mean a lot. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.